Welcome back to more. We are in our outdoor kitchen with Chef Lorena Garcia of Chica at the Venetian Resort. And I wish we had smell of vision right now, but it's okay. We're about to eat with our eyes too. Wait until you see the spread that Chef Lorena Garcia brought for us from Chica all to celebrate Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's always such a pleasure to be here. Oh. Uh, it's one of the highlights of my life. I want to introduce Chef Carlos. My right hand side has been with me since the beginning of Chica. So. Thank you, Chef, Hello, for coming into Carlos. it today with me. <laughs> okay, so you've got quite the spread here for Valentine's Day. Yes. Tell us what Chica is doing. Let me tell you that we have uh, what I call Chica 2.0. And we're going to start always with my arepitas. You know that there is a must. Mm -hmm. And I just want to guide you through what the masa does, right? Okay. The most important thing that we need to do when we're making arepas is to start always with the liquid. So what I do is I take a little bit of butter with the water. Here's when you add a little bit of salt. Mm. You add a little bit of oil. In this case, I put a little bit of uh, butter. Then what I do, check it out guys, I have anise espanol, Ooh. Spanish anise, anise. I have shredded or uh, grated piloncillo. This mm -hmm. is a raw sugar for Mexico, where my chef Carlos is from. I and know that then, in my abuelita's rice pudding. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, of course, the masa arepa, harina pan, what I call. And mm. this is very simple. You're going to add all these ingredients, and this is when you're going to kind of mix it. It's going to become, after you mix it for like literally five minutes, you're going to get this beautiful play dough consistency dough. And then check it out. I want to I wanna have a close up of my hands because this is how you make arepita. Check it okay, out. we're watching. There you go. You see, you go with the palm of your hands always. You kind of ah. always just use the palm of your hand. You see, it's the perfect arepita. Yeah. We have it here, Chef Carlos. Let's dunk some of these arepitas in the hot oil at 350 Ooh. degrees for the five, about five minutes. That's actually what it takes okay. to make arepitas. While he's dunking in the oil, I have some finished ones here <laughs> that I'm going to take a bite of. So check out what I do with my arepitas. I put. Check it out. Now, mm. close up. I have my delicious asado negro. This is my grandmother's recipe. It's almost like a black mole mm. from Venezuela. So it's kind of sweet notes and sour notes. And what I do is I finish it up with a spicy pico, mm. just a little bit right on top. If you like cheese, I put a little bit of uh, queso cotija, cotija cheese, yeah. right on top. And then my green goddess sauce. It's a cilantro-based crema mm. that is really delicious. To kind of give it that aversion, it's herbaceous note. And then always, of course, I'm going to finish with a little bit of micro cilantro right on top of the arepitas, right? To give it that herbaceousness even more. Love, and then love, you have love. my arepitas with asado negro. Then we jump to the empanadas. Yes. The quesabirre empanadas mm. is the take that my take on the quesabirra tacos, right? It's super delicious. What I do is I take the empanada uh, wrap, and then what we do, we take this beautiful, check it out, Wagyu short rib that we have a simmer with delicious and amazing chiles, and we make this consomme that we're gonna actually use to dunk the empanadas on. A little bit of Osaka cheese is nice and melting cheese. Yeah. And then what we do is we kind of close it up, do what we call a repulgue. So you kind of go inside <laughs> and inside and inside and you're going to have this beautiful shape of empanadas that I have right here, voila, because Love. we're in the magic of television. This is what you make. Mm -hmm. And then we fry them again at 350 degrees for about five minutes and you serve it with this amazing um, a, a onoto oil. Check it out. What I do is I brush them Yum. Right with onoto oil. Okay, very, chef, very nice. Tell us about your um, dessert. Too. I'm going to taste your empanada. Yes. So empanadas with a little bit of the threads, uh, a little bit of, again, of microgreens. And we're going to finish it off this beautiful Valentine's Day with our incredible flaming skull. Are you ready, guys? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, this is what we do at the restaurant. It's a chocolate lava cake that becomes a fondue. And what we do is I take the rum. Check it out. We need a close-up of this. Oh, I light we got up. it. I light up our, um, our uh, rum, there it is. And once it is light up, we're going to literally put it on top of the flame wow. of the skull. Wow. And look what is going to happen now. I want to show you what's going to happen. It's going to start melting, and you're going to mm -hmm. have a chocolate lava cake that becomes mm -hmm. a volcano, a vol fondue. And then what we have here is our delicious uh, horchata ice cream. We have a oh corn marshmallows that we make in the restaurant, beautiful fruits. Look at that. Flaming Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
Chica Residence at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas. We're open every day. We have an amazing dinner for you guys on mm -hmm. Monday for Valentine's Day. Remember, Mother's Day is going to be our yes. fifth year anniversary. We're gearing up for that. Check out our new menu. Check out the celebration of Latin cuisine only in our hands right there at Chica. First female executive chef on this trip right here, Chef Lorena Garcia. We always love having you in. This is so delicious. I have so much food in my teeth and I don't even care. Thank you so much. Well, let's pull up the information if you want to go to Chica's for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, the anniversary. And Jace will send it back to you.